Today's session is going to be focused mainly around just stretching the body, so some flexibility, maybe a few yoga postures, but nothing too deep, nothing too extreme or hard, just really focusing on creating some space within the muscles, within the joints. Um, and again, so you're not having to think too hard, work too hard, so you're actually giving your, your mind once again to creating some, a little space allowing you to focus on your breath and allowing you to, to just relax. So bring the hands to the knees, sitting cross-legged. Or if this is awkward for you, then you can just come here. Whatever makes you feel most comfortable to begin. All right, the hands are on the knees. You're sitting tall, your shoulders, lift them up, back, and then down. Just create some length in the spine. Connect both sit bones. Close your eyes. The mouth is closed as you take your focus to your inhale and your exhale. So lengthening your in-breath, matching the length of the in-breath with the out-breath. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Do two more of those, inhale. You can open your eyes, bring the hands to heart center. So remember the focus is your breath throughout. Inhale, take the arms up high. As you exhale, allow your right hand to come down by your right hip. And then inhale, lift up at the left side of the body, lengthen through the left arm. Exhale, bring the body over to the right side. So just create some openness through the chest and the shoulders. And then all the way down the left side of the body. Continue with your in-breath, with your out-breath. Inhale back to centre, the right hand comes up to meet the left, and then the left hand comes down. Inhale, create that length. Exhale, this time the body comes over to the left side. Just feel that release, that openness. No stress through the body, just work with your body, work with your own flexibility. And then inhale, left hand comes up, meets the right. This time the left hand comes to the right knee and the, left, the right hand goes behind you. Inhale, create that length in the spine. As you exhale, just rotate, looking over the right shoulder. So don't push too hard. Easy, easy, allowing the body to open. Inhale, back to center, the right hand comes to the left knee. Left hand behind. Inhale, lift up, create that length. Exhale, twisting over, looking over the left shoulder. Inhale, back to centre. I want you to roll over the knees or just come into onto all fours. So the hands are underneath your shoulders, the knees are underneath your hips. From there, relax the tops of the feet to the floor. I'm going to take an inhale and arch through your lower back to form an arch through your lower back. Pull the belly in lightly and look up. As you exhale, round your spine. So taking, tucking the chin in, pushing mid back, upper back, lower back to the ceiling. So you're just coming through some cat cow. This is just going to warm through your spine. Inhaling, looking up. Exhaling, rounding through the spine. Creating that openness, that length within the body. Looking up. Exhale, round. Once again, inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Just go for one more. So make it a little deeper. Open, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, round through your spine as you pull the belly in and drop down. Nice. Come back to neutral spine. You're going to tuck your toes under and come into downward facing dog. So lift the tailbone, spread the palms of the hands, allow your shoulders, your neck to release. Take a bend in the knees if you need to. And then just walk out through the feet, so pedal through the feet, one foot at a time. At a time. The heel goes down, it's not quick. Take your time and breathe. 
So working with your in-breath, working with your out-breath, allowing the body to slowly release. So inhaling, exhaling. Just find some stillness, take the movement out. Find that connection with the floor, the palms of the hands and the feet. Shoulders are away from the ears as you broaden through the shoulders. Head shakes, yes and no, release that tension. From now, we need to kick your right leg high. So kick it up high. Now as you exhale, set the right foot between the hands. So you're going to set the right foot between the hands and then drop the left knee to the floor. So we're going to release and open through your hips. So lift your chest up. Lengthen your spine and drop the hip down. So drum sitting back on the knee. See so if you can just drop that hip down. Lift the chest. Inhaling and exhaling. So once you've got the movement, then feel free just to close your eyes. So you don't need to keep watching me. Just close your eyes and breathe into the area of discomfort, tension. The more you focus your breath to that area, the more and the quicker it will release. So rather than just going through the motions of the posture, focus a little more on releasing, relaxing, and opening the body. Inhale, take the arms up high. So you're going to lift the arms, both arms at the same time, keep connected through that right foot. As you exhale, your right hand comes down by your hip. Now inhale, lift up out of the waist. As you exhale, bring the body over once again to the right side. Now keep your tailbone tucked under. So just hold there a second and have a look from side on. So you want to make sure your tailbone is forward. So you don't want to be forming that arch in the lower back. Tuck your tailbone and then sink into it. Keep holding, inhaling, exhaling. Inhale back to centre, the right hand comes up to meet the left. Now heel toe your right foot towards the outside of the mat. And the right hand comes on the inside of the right foot, the left hand underneath the left shoulder. And once again, you just drop through those hips. Lengthen your spine, so you don't want to be here. See if you really lift your chest. Lengthen forwards, the shoulders come away from the ears. Inhaling, exhaling. Once you found your position, and just close your eyes and breathe into the hip. So the left hip is where you really should be feeling that release and openness. As you exhale, you melt into the posture. If your mind begins to wander at any point, then just bring it straight back to the breath. Just have that as your focus. Give your mind a little space. Tucking your left toes under. Take your right foot back. Come back into downward facing dog. This time the left leg goes high. You set your left foot between the hands. Remember, help the foot if you need to. Drop the right knee to the floor. Lift through your chest. Drop through the hip. And feel the length, the openness is into the other side. So the right hip. Continue with your in-breath, continue with your out-breath. Close your eyes. Inhale, lift, the arms come up. The left hand comes down by the left hip. Inhale, lift out of the right side. Pelvis is tucked under. Exhale, the body comes over to the left. Creating that length all the way down the right side of the body, all into the outside of the right hip. And you should feel it in the front of the hip as well. So squeeze the right butt cheek, tuck the pelvis, and create that release. Inhale, 
bring the left hand up, heel toe, the left foot to the outside of the mat, and then the left hand comes to the inside of the left foot, the right hand underneath the right shoulder, and drop through those hips. Create a length in the spine. Allowing it to release just a little bit deeper, a little further. Remember, take your time when you're doing each of these postures and don't rush through it, don't wait for it to finish, don't wait for what comes next. Just really focus on taking your time, embracing it, enjoying it, enjoying this time out for you. Alright, you're going to draw your left knee back. Now take your knees a bit wider. I'm going to show you side on. Now I want you to try and keep your knee, your hips above your knees. Now from this position, walk your hands forwards. So you keep your hip, hips where they are, if you watch carefully. You walk your hands forwards and you're aiming your chest towards the mat, towards the floor. Now you might find here you need to, you place the forehead to the floor. You're eventually aiming to get the chest on the floor, which is when you can turn and place the chin on the floor. This creates some openness in the chest and the shoulders and in through the upper back. So just work with your body, work with where you're at. Don't push into it. Walk your hands back slowly. Creates a beautiful openness into your chest and shoulders. So nice. <laughs> All right, take a drop down onto your right sit bone, and then you're gonna swing your legs forwards, and just place the soles of the feet together. So if you're very, very tight in the outer hips, you find this quite hard, then take the feet a little further forwards. This will create a little bit more openness and make it slightly easier. Now you can have the soles of the feet, you can use the hands to just peel them apart, so just like opening a book. Now sit yourself tall out of your waist to lengthen your spine. Try and avoid this happening. If you're finding this is happening, then just draw the feet a little further forwards. Sit tall. Close your eyes. Breathe and allow the body to open. We hold so much emotion around our hips. We get a lot of hip pain sometimes. It's not even to do with muscles, joints necessarily. It's to do with our emotions where we're holding on to emotions, not wanting it to let go. So just breathe and let it go. It's better out than in, trust me. Alright, from there you're going to lengthen your right leg forwards. Take the sole of the left foot into the inner part of your right thigh. Center up so your hips are in one line. Now with this right leg straight, I want you to inhale, lift the arms up high. As you exhale, reach towards the right foot. Now you may not get there, you may not be able to touch the toes. And just place the hands to the floor, sorry, to the um, your shin, or to that to the thigh. Wherever you are, the spine stays long. If you can reach the foot, then take hold of the foot and draw the toes back towards you. So you want to feel that stretch into the calf muscle, the Achilles, as well as the hamstring. Now inhale, create that length in the spine, pull the belly in, exhale, maybe go a little deeper. But you want to make sure this isn't happening. So don't lose your neck. Create the length and the openness. Inhaling and exhaling. Slowly release. So we're going to switch sides. Extend your left leg out in front of you. The sole of the right foot comes to the inner part of the left thigh. Level through your hips. Inhale, lift up, create length in the spine. Pull your lower belly in to release and lengthen your lower back. As you exhale, you bring the body forwards. Now you might be different one side to the other. That's quite normal. So just work with the side that you're on and work with how your body feels today. 
a lot of the time maybe we think, oh, I could do that yesterday or the day before or even last week. Why can't I do it today? But just work with it. Your flexibility, the way you're feeling, your emotions are going to affect your body a lot. Which is why I encourage this yoga meditation so much. Because when your mind's healthier, your body will become healthier. Keep that length in your left leg and place the right ankle onto your left knee. So just above the left knee. So you're sitting tall. You're going to create some openness into the right hip. So go here. Now if it's available to you, you can take your left foot and place it underneath your right knee. But still keeping the right ankle above the left knee. Now this again, work with your hips. This is quite advanced. So work with where you're at. Breathe and feel the body release and open. Within yoga is not about getting into the advanced posture really, really quickly. It's about working with where you're at at that time because you're there for a reason. So allow your body to be there. When we push, we force our bodies, which we're so used to doing when it comes to exercise, into a posture or into a movement that our bodies don't want to be in. Within yoga, your body is going to resist. When it resists, it creates more tension, more tightness. So it's going to take you a lot longer to get there. And perhaps you'll get there with injury. So just take your time. Allow it to happen gradually. And release. Lengthen the right leg out in front of you. Take the left ankle just above the right knee. So remember, work with your body, work with where you're at. It might be different this side. So see, maybe you bring the right ankle underneath the left knee. The left ankle stays above the right knee. Breathe, release. So we're really getting into the hips. with your body and will connect with that area of discomfort, tightness. The more you connect and breathe, the, the quicker it will release. All right, ease it up there. Well done. Okay, I'm going to get you to take a lie down onto your back. Now. So lay your legs out first. Take the arms wide. And then you know, draw your right, your knee, both knees, sorry, into your chest. And then you drop your knees over towards the left side. So drop them over towards the left side and take a look towards your right fingertips. So we're just going into a stretch and to release into your lower back. So you can stay here, or maybe you take your top knee and draw it up towards the shoulder to increase that stretch and that release into your lower back. Your eyes look the opposite way to the knee. Breathe. And release. Drawing the knees back to centre once again. Now turn around. This time you're going to drop your knees the opposite direction. The knees come to chest. Drop the knees over and look towards that side. So I've done the same way twice. Make sure to do the other way. Look over the shoulder. Option is draw the knee up. Feel that release. Be 
knees up. Then take a full roll over onto your right side. Bring your body up slowly to seat it. Cross at the legs once again. Bring the hands to the knees, sit yourself tall. Bring your hands to heart center. Namaste.